you are live let me check on let me check on youtube uh, not yet because uh, of my network yeah it's working now. even youtube is okay <laughs> awesome so hello everyone uh this is the second part of our reviews which is about chapter eight so we start in the middle and we are having i think the second edition huh. <laughs> is my connection really bad or entertainment i am frozen i think what is frozen <laughs> okay so we already started with with network problems <laughs> I don't, I don't, okay. I'm not sure. It's okay now. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe Christoph, you will be a host today because I have some network connectivity issues. So, uh, hello, everyone. Maybe that will pass over the internet. Today, we are doing chapter eight review. And probably you will be sharing the screen, right? Yes, I'm. It's not a network issue, it's my machine that is extremely slow. <laughs> I have a network That's issue, not... you have a machine issue. Yeah. Kevin, you need to find some more. issue for you. Yeah, uh, I'm on, I have a network issue too. <laughs> I'm on my phone right now. Share. I've clicked the button. Let me know if you see my screen. Not yet. Not yet. Still not. Wow. It would be a good a good session. Yes. <laughs> still whatever. nothing. Really? It's not because it's saying yep. oh, it's showing my okay. screen. I see I see oh, already. Okay. Out. Okay. okay. Here it is. Now it's good. Okay. Okay. Uh, can you make it bigger as a very first step? Oh, View. Okay. Maybe even a little bit more. Really? I'm yeah, hundred and I have I have small monitor. Okay. okay. I can see three three sentences, so it, it will be nice. okay. <laughs> okay. Um should we start with like quick introduction or we jump in? Probably. Okay. But it, let's let's I propose you do it because my network. Okay. So uh, again, um, uh, Kevin and myself are working on on updating um, Conrad's book uh, to to integrate all the new good stuff uh, since uh, .NET 3.0. Uh, yeah, 3.0. And um, we've been working on the same content. So the interest of one of the interest of this kind of session is seeing how we are we are working together in uh, in updating the content. And the second interesting thing uh, we think is uh, showing you the kind of tooling that we are using or the, the processes that we are following to to dig into the garbage collector, to dig into some of the tools and uh, hoping that uh, that you will leverage that and use it uh, on your own. So let's start it. Now we are in chapter eight. Uh, the mark phase of the uh, garbage collection. So you will see different colors in the text of the stream and um, yeah, one color per author. Okay. So we, we don't say which, who is doing which change, but anyway, so um, we have already reviewed that chapter on our own and we've left a few comments. So what we will do tonight is uh, going through all these comments and removing them, agreeing on, on what we should do or not. So let's start with the, with the first one. Um, yeah, that's on me. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I did like, oh, we were talking about interior pointers. And so I 
added some explanation, some examples of what it was. Uh, and I just, I'm not 100% sure that um, pointers to an element inside of an array are considered as interior pointers. They are. They are, OK. So, nice. That was quick. Easy one. First. OK. So, so you wanted to change that, Conrad? I, I, will, I will rephrase that, because it's misleading. Um, but it's on me. OK, so we keep it. Um, uh, do, 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 or yeah 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 uh well, but actually that's so you you i think you were talking about the flag that is set in the method table pointer yeah so that takes that, that explained later in the chapter so you can resolve it okay because at this point i didn't know if you were going to explain it or not yeah <clears throat> okay next one uh Uh, yeah, just wanted confirmation that the pinned flag is used because you're, re you're re writing that both pinned and marked fla flags are used during the mark phase. Uh, and it seems weird to me that the pin flag would be used during the mark phase. Set, yes, but used. That's a good, uh, that's a good uh, catch. I'm not sure who, who added and used. It was added by, by someone or it was in the original? Uh, I added the parenthesis and uh, you added uh, and used, I think. Uh, did I do that? Maybe I did that. Oh, maybe it's Christopher. Why used? I'm not sure if it is used. Because I've found that, or otherwise I don't know why I... I, I mean, the max flag, flag is used, obviously, but uh, the standard is both, both the, the pin and mark. Maybe it's, it's used to count the size of the pinned object. I don't remember. It was in November, I don't remember. Huh. Because some statistics are, are, are computed uh, during the the mark phase, and I think one of oh. them, a few of them are like which one are pinned. On oh yeah, if it's for statistics, but then it makes I think sense. I think it is. But it is like yeah. gathering statistics, not using the flag itself well, i mean it's using the flag that... by by just recognizing the flag and so counting them as pinned or not pinned but, uh, but it isn't, isn't we need, it we need to double check that okay Reliable root. So we'll go through all the kind of fruits and look at the one that you like. And, uh, oh, it's 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 on this one. Uh, yeah, it's on the not. Look at the variable primitive type like numbers. Yes. The not interested in this represent a heap allocated object. Uh, but I don't really. Expect understands the explanation because that's the same for structs. Uh, I think it's because it's because we don't talk about primitive type here. That's why you I did this. Conrad, maybe? Oh maybe we've lost Conrad. Yes. Um, uh, he's back. Yeah, he's back. So I'm back, but I don't understand. I think 
but I'm just surprised that we do the distinction between primitive type and stripes. But that's just me. Oh yes, I I understand. Um, that's yeah, <laughs> true. Primitive types, structs. Maybe we need to re rephrase something a little bit. Maybe we just need to add. We could like struct or primitive like, type. Like we could have like like Actually. primitive type of struct. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah. we we agree. just remove that and remove the note. Yeah. Okay. So, like primitive number types. Types. Or, yeah. Or struct, hmm. or a reference to the what? To the type value. Yeah. Okay. And I'm removing this. I'm trying to remove it. Really, believe me, I'm trying. Uh, yeah, I think it's the first time that we try to remove. Uh, Sorry. I think that's the first time that we try to remove a nut. Yeah, a footnote. And it took so me. I'm not actually two, sure how to do that. It it took me two months to re, to add one, but I can't do it. Can I? Do, oh, if I'm doing this, yes, yes. So like this, um, this. Yeah, you can resolve. Resolve. Okay. Uh, this section of garbage collection of the objects allocated on the ship is considered. Uh, yeah, I find it a bit surprising. Collection of the garbage objects allocated on the ship. So, a garbage collection, basically. I mean, what else are you going to garbage collect? But, yeah. <laughs> That was just a kind of obvious. Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Right. You, you can. Yeah. You can reserve, I guess. Or you could. I mean, what you would do is like something like this. We could just remove that. Remove the sentence. That's what you want to do. Uh, in this section, we will look into details of vocabulary and references. Yeah, I I don't really understand what this bit is is bringing, but maybe we just can. Me. Because we just we just talk about that. So we just talk about this specific case. I think that's why. Okay. Okay. Let's... I don't have opinion. Okay, you can you can leave it. Something like this. Uh that's even worse. So let's just leave it. Oh, it just leave it? Okay. Yeah. Okay, so uh <clears throat> Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah, that. <laughs> yeah, I sorry. think it was like reading a reference. <laughs> Sometimes when it's too obvious, we just remove it. <laughs> <That's>... <laughs> do, we, do we agree on this one? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I. Yeah, yeah so let's remove it. Uh, then you need to change the next sentence as well because you have the thus that do, does the transition. Yes. Uh, it will work. Maybe nicely just try it by figure one ten. And then we go back to page four. 
I mean, if you remove the sentences, then there's something missing. Mm. Well, you would like to remove this also? I guess. Yeah. Because the first part is there to introduce uh, figure 110, that the second sentence, the one that we remove, is about saying why 110 is relevant. But then if you remove it, then it's missing something. Okay, let's see if I can open. So yeah, it shows a reference from the stack to the heap. Okay, and yeah, I for me see. it sounds okay. Yeah, me too. It sounds okay with the sentence. The only thing is like okay. you, will have, okay. you will have to go back to to page an early page, but beyond that, <laughs> one one kilogram of pages, but okay. yes, yes. Okay, 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 okay. Uh, so, what? Uh, yes, so I yeah. So what is the point? Uh, yeah. Yeah, it was just a repeat to yes, something it's important. Really, but so, yeah, I, I'm not sure that everyone remembers what they've read in chapter four, if they, they even read chapter four. That's why I, it doesn't really. I mean, I, I don't see it as a as a as a repetition. Uh, yeah, that's because it basically like brings nothing. Re recalling yeah. some things to. Yeah. Basically, you, you're repeating that uh, the local variable can be stored in the registers, yeah. but then, but then it, what? What you know? It's it's a kind of introduction to the next one, which would be stack root. Yeah, but then the reminder should be in the and next one. the last the last paragraph mentioned that the stack and activation frame. So that's why we. You recall here uh, that okay, but it may be unregistered. Hmm. Uh, yeah, I think it's okay, yeah. okay. Maybe I'm, I'm just nitpicking. It's yeah, it's because you, yeah, it's a kind of relation between the sample and uh, and what would be explained next. Okay, so let's. I'm voting for leaving it. Okay. 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 So next. Yeah, uh, it's like, I don't know how many times we talk about roots in this chapter, and every time we say that, we start a traversal from the roots. <laughs> I think, I think after the one or two, one or two first ones, you start to get that when you have a root, it means that you start a traversal from it. Okay. Uh, okay. I, I didn't notice the, the repetition. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, we can, yeah. We can well, maybe it. here actually, as we find our maybe stack roots, this is the second. Well, I guess this one, this one is okay because we don't use the word root here. Yeah, but I I noted a, a few others in the comments, so 
Okay, so let's keep this one and see for the others. Yeah, yeah, this one, this one is, is okay. Okay. Uh... Yeah, I, I will keep the, the exact sentence, but I will just move it to the next paragraph. Yeah. Just at the beginning? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Looks okay to me. Can I copy it? I'm just changing to. No, no, paragraph, the section. What? Oh. So here. Yeah, just oh just sorry, sorry. So you just create a new paragraph and not even just oh yeah yeah okay yeah yeah uh, oh yeah but then you have the form yeah we don't we don't see it but it would be the same the same paragraph okay. all right okay lexical scope. Okay. Where are we? Okay. Uh, yes. So I. Mm. Um, so this one is really about. Uh, is it like more relaxed or not? And I did some tests. Uh, really, on debug, and I don't see any relaxed app. It's it's exactly the same. I've tried to uh, to uh, the of code and see where it's live and not. Um, can you show uh, the paragraph again? Yes, yeah, sorry. Um, um. But uh, the the sentence is about that in debug mode the lifetime is much longer because it extends the reachability. And, um, the yeah, method. but uh, it's, this is wrong. Just... I tested. This is wrong. It it extends but... the local variable until the end of the block, not not the method. If you if you define a variable inside uh, a block like a lexical scope, then you won't ah, be able okay. to see it outside of the lexical scope. Ah, okay. Even okay, okay, okay. But so we need to fix it, this sentence then. I, I think and that's my point was that in this in this paragraph, you in this section, you are introducing uh, the well, the whole concept of I, I don't actually remember what's the name of the section again. Can you score it? Lexical scope, no? Yeah. Oops. Okay, yeah, lexical scope, thank you. Uh, yeah, so you are, you are introducing the, the concept of lexical scope, ex explaining that variables are live until the end of the scope, because we, yeah. we don't talk about bigger root collection at this point. Yeah. Right. And so, then you say that the, the, the debug mode is even more relaxed. But the debug mode is exactly what you describe in, in this yes. section. Maybe. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, I mean, so, I've, I've tried that. If you want, even in debug, to look at the value of C2 here, you won't be able to uh, see it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's in the... OK. So it so, was too, bo too bold sentence. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. So, so it means that we need to, to change that to the end of the lexical scope. Uh, right. Yes. So we should remove that. And side. here, uh, the same approach is taken. Yes, the same approach. Point. Yeah. Yeah. Let's take a look on the paragraph. If I send the report until the end of their scope, lexical scope. 
Yeah. Okay. Makes sense. Yep. Okay, so now I'm sorry. Okay. Um, okay. Yes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That so was, yeah. what I did uh, when I started all my tests, uh, I, I didn't, I didn't play with this uh, tiered compilation and disable it. So what I did, I added a small, a small comment at the end of the section about that. It should be yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You've, you've updated. It is. Okay. So my comment was really about like okay. Now that I know that, I've added it, and I I did it at the end, not not at the beginning. And I think it's it's better to follow all the reasoning and then at the end say, by the way, if you try it and it's not working, yes. it's because, and so that's why it's, it's more, I mean, the flow is uh, is better. Yeah. Surprise, it's not working. Yes, yeah, surprise, it's not working. Uh, uh, yeah, same thing. Yes. I was afraid when when you wrote that that something oh, no, has no. changed. So, yeah, the only difference is this one. This one it's not working, and it's because we need a code. Yeah, GC code. GC code. Yeah. So where True. is it? Uh, I think it's the next listing. It's the next one. Maybe. Yeah, you're right. Thank you. Yeah, I think yeah. And here further. Code yeah, further. Code. Yeah. Uh, or just add explicitly GC correct because in the other samples we, we put GC correct. Was it just like this? Yeah, should be fine. No, oh, okay, okay. So two, 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 yes. So it's good to see that we are checking all all single code in the book. Yeah. This is supposed to be the, the task of, uh, of the technical reviewer. Yeah. Smiling. Here you are wrong. Yes. Sorry, <laughs> Oh, no. I, I have some you problems. You are lying in the first edition of the book. <laughs> oh, no. Mm. Uh, but the, the, the inlining point is good, right? But it's uh, yeah, uh, you, you you thought that um, the problem was happening because in light of inlining, uh, what sample is it? Uh, well, it's the one where we add GC collect. Yeah, the object is uh, collected before the end of the method. Uh, and in the explanation, yeah. you said that it's because it got inlined in the parents, which isn't true. It's just because uh, okay. eager collection also apply to the, this pointer. But it's true that inlining can uh, introduce this kind of situation, but it's really hard to find an example of that. Uh -huh. I mean, the inlining is not the clue of this example by in the first place, right? Yeah. Maybe we should. So how should we re, re reword it? Just remove it. Uh, well, we still need uh, to, uh, to explain why it happens, yes. but uh, yeah, we yeah. can just say that uh, so this pointer is optimized by uh, optimized away by the eager root uh, mm -hmm. correction. So should we do that inlining? offline probably? I, I think the inlining is a great point if we manage to find an example. Or, or if easy. not, we can just leave some, yeah, or leave some note that inlining may just make things more complex in some situations. Okay. Should we leave a to do here and see what we want to do? Yeah, okay. Yeah. 
That's interesting. I missed this one. Yeah, this is. <laughs> so nice. that's nice crazy. Intro. Yeah. Interesting. Uh, yeah. Okay, so GC info. Um, yes. Yes. WinDBG, is the SOS extension? I haven't uh, fully updated this section yet because uh, I was doing this research. So yeah, you want some things do... will probably. Yeah. Yes, but in the end, probably I will show both both yeah. SOS and this ASMO results in that book because yeah. both are interesting. Yeah, the main. Uh, first, I was Sorry. thinking about just using this ASMO, then um, I will show both. Yes, I think it's interesting. The, the only thing so that. So, this I, section will be changed. Yeah, you need to keep in mind is what I've started to do here is I was using your sample, so I've changed the name to reflect the sample that will be available from, from the repo and from what we've explained ah, okay. to, to the existing one instead of sure. like the one that you might have used during your uh, testing. And so we might, sure. if you want to change all that, uh, you will also have to... Uh, to yeah, uh, we need to use the names from the source. Yeah, and and this one is, this one is, I think it's a, it's a bug. Sorry, no, it's not work. It's a it's it's a typo from the first one because here it was it's it's working on the method desk and you picked the the cheated code address. The cheated, uh, yeah, cheated okay. address. Maybe. Have you so checked the syntax whether it works with uh, with the or yes. not? Yeah, 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 okay. yeah, 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 yeah. It's failing. I tried okay. it. It's failing. Uh, maybe I I have it. Somewhere. I, I believe you. Maybe I have it somewhere. <laughs> I'm trying. No, no, yeah. I did a few. Yes, it's not no, the US, it's not zero, but uh, yeah, I tried it. Okay. All right. uh, yeah, so remove it. Uh, it should be the metal desk. Uh, so I, I'm leaving it because just in case you are you are redoing yeah. it, um, the, the WinDBG part. And again, maybe it's because it's a, it's another version. I don't have the same. Mm. I don't have the same safe point, and so uh, it's complicated. It's yeah. super. It's super fragile, so it could be different than yeah. years ago, for sure. So. Yes. Uh, yeah, I expect that. This is this is all I wish. Sorry, I have network hiccup. What? 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 No, it's Christoph this time. Did it? It's Christoph's that's rock this time. Oh, this time yes. me? Okay. I mean, I so Mike. I, 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 the deleting hit influenced uh, formatting or something like that. Oh, now it works. I see. So, wow, thanks. I don't know what's going on in my machine. Everything is crawling up and down. Okay, so you try to. Okay, <laughs> you can resolve. It seems to be deleted. So, <coughs> I couldn't delete it. Yeah, yeah, but you did it. You see, it worked, or or it was me. Maybe, maybe it was me. It was you. No, it's still not delete. Oh, okay, but it's in December, so I don't know. Okay, so, maybe that one. Okay. Uh, okay, this one. Um, uh, yeah, I didn't understand. Uh, uh, so the proper chunk is being analyzed, starting from initial liveness, and then by applying described liveness changes, offset by offset, until the offset of interest is not being hit. Uh, I think I, I just don't manage to picture how yeah. the information is stored. Uh, so in general, because this is super internal, right? So yes. I don't yeah. even, I'm not 100% sure it hasn't changed, but it was like mm -hmm. that they were 
uh, splitting a method into a chunks, like from the mm -hmm. instruction from instruction, some chunks were somehow chosen, and then they remembered the state at the beginning of chunk of everything, or like liveness of let's say registers or everything, and then so this register that. becomes alive in this line, it's dead, and so on. So it was incremental inside the chunk, and but at the every chunk beginning, the liveness was in the full state somehow. So if you want to know what is the liveness of things at a given line instruction, you need to find the proper chunk and go instruction by instruction from the beginning of a chunk to this instruction to That's apply all the changes from the beginning. So this is the offset, like the offset inside the chunk yeah. that you want to uh, investigate liveness. But then identity what does opposite it does not, What it means yeah. not being hit. I think this is, yeah. Uh, yeah. I would say it is polishing, <laughs> like uh, pro not Englishing, but polishing <laughs> sentence. Oh. Uh, oh ge really in general, it is until it is hit, right? You are right. Yeah, so until we, it's, we are, yeah. yeah, yeah. In the end, right. that was the easy change. Okay. <laughs> okay. Again, trying to use the same. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, uh, so in case of uh, fully, that's right. Uh, yeah, I, I believe it was because we we were talking yes. about yeah. yeah. Uh, we need to make a few approaches. Uh, and also the sense of the world approaches here. I, <laughs> I mean, tries. Uh, tries. Maybe yeah, not okay. yeah. I, I suspected as much. Yeah. I like how you optimize and keep the, the <laughs> letter usage. Yes, <laughs> less, less letters. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Okay, because if I ask that, it's because I tried and uh, might not be able to get the uh, this one. But uh, we can, yes, they are still. Are they? Are they? Are they working? This yep. One? Okay. Yeah, this bit is a bit weird to me. Uh, are there, yes. are, is there really a special case for zero? I mean, yeah, if if you start from a root that is zero, it's just no, no up to for graph traversal. Okay, that's very surprising to me, but I haven't checked the implementation so code reuse it probably. I mean, <laughs> maybe. <laughs> okay. Oh yeah, yeah. It's, it's always the same. Uh, yeah, because I try to look at the um, at what is now, and I I don't see it. This same will way. be done by me. Okay.
because I don't see that that core. Um, okay, and I let you. Yeah. Yes, just leave it yeah. for me. Uh, yeah, you. Yeah. Of the previous sentence, what do you mean? You, you deleted it because you haven't seen it in the uh, debugging yes. output, in, right? Uh, yes. Yeah. You you deleted the notes, but also the treat the whole object has been previously. And so the previous paragraph ends with GC, we see this address and. Oh, so I need to remove this. <laughs> or maybe you didn't mean to delete the treat the whole object as spin, I don't know. Oh, maybe I deleted. Maybe you selected too much. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, now, will I be able to reject this part? Yes. Yeah. Wow, it works. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Sorry, I didn't understand. Okay. Yes, so I just checked that it was still because we we added a few figures and I wanted to check it was the right one. So I just that it was checked. Okay. Uh, what were we talking again? About just internal roots. Uh, yeah, I don't understand your explanation. So they are called just internal roots because they are due to user code. I don't see. They aren't. They, they are originated from user code. They should be. Uh, it should be because they are not. Basically, I don't, I don't see the because. I don't see the relationship between the fact that they come from user code and the fact that they are named GC internal roots. Oh, you, you mean there's supposed to be a negation? Yes, yes. It was a oh, mistake. then that would make sense. <laughs> Sorry, I was, I, was, I was frozen for like 30 seconds. So Me what too. did you say? These are called the GC internal roots because they are? They are not. There, yeah, it should be negation. Okay, then that makes sense. Yeah. Uh, think of. Yeah, yeah, I like originated before. Uh, I like originated better than due to. It feels feels weird to me to say that a uh, root is due to something. Uh, or maybe we can try uh, to find a third solution. But what is word suggesting? Because I see that it's underlined. Originate. They do not originate. Yeah, hmm. that works too. Sounds good. Trust so word. Do not... so which one? <laughs> this one or the other one? Let's yeah, trust words. Originality is nice. Yeah, it's a one billion dollar dollars company. Or they, or they do not come from the user code. Uh, oh, it works too. All right. By incremental changes, we <laughs> should we remove the? Uh, I don't know. It's too advanced English for me. I'm not uh, using it. Uh, we need some yeah, well, uh, okay. grammar. Let's, let's 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 keep it as as Frenchy Polish English. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So here, 
Oh yeah, it's it's just because you it, you just want to use that name. Um, yeah. So it's so from my understanding, there is like a set is a is a group, a set of things. So what do you set call card regions? It would be a card region set. I would yeah, I, I, set card it, or a card set regions. I don't. I don't set card to regions is the set card regions is the name. So maybe yeah. we can put it in the. Set. Uh, not sure because it comes from source code. As far as I remember, oh. they were using set. Okay, so maybe it's. I'm not mm. again not good enough in English. Okay, so let's. Uh, uh, let's okay. Maybe you can double check where where they're using the code because I I agree with Christoph on this one. The name is weird. Seems weird. Oh, wow. Uh, wow. 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 Regions of set cards. Yeah, that need to be card region set. I don't set card region. Regions. <laughs> Is it like something like this? Set card region? I don't remember. No. Probably not so. Present card. Mm. Mm. Maybe. There is only one usage. Yes, there is only one usage. So, so let's, we are only let's... using it here. So let's remove set if it is misleading. Okay. Uh, well, it's not that we should remove no, it. It's rather that we should move it at the end. Uh, I mean, refer, uh, regions of regions set cards. Of set cards. So why 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 don't we just remove everything? Yeah. <laughs> True. <laughs> At some point, if we are not, less if we are not referencing better. it, yes, because yes, you say like yes, find yes. continuous regions of set cards for such region, and that yeah, yeah. Uh, and we and are I not using yeah. it yet. <clears throat> yeah, so you find it, so I can remove it. And I found that in the. Hmm. And I, I I just added that because you you added environment variable. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, what else? Oh yes, yeah. that was your initial point. Yeah. So Not just like when you it as groups, and you can remove the other okay. sometimes. Okay. Uh, why I did that? Yes, because if you don't do that, uh, <coughs> one, one, um, oh, yeah, it's for the uh, pin objective at that time. Yeah, I will do this. Okay. Uh, strings, heap. <laughs> yes. I, I never had any developer saying, oh, I have memory leak. It's probably the GC code that is not marking my object properly. Yeah, true. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, so I change yeah. the stuff. Oh, yeah. Need to begin with. Because there is another okay. one. First, first. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah, that's something I added. And also to see with per view of I, the trace. I didn't know that. All the time learning. <laughs> um, is it the one for the GC dump? Uh, it is also used for the for the GC dump, but it existed way before, before. in seven day yeah, in the yeah. framework. Yeah. You don't have to, to nice. wait for the next compacting. One more way to force GC. Yes. External. From from the outside. We need a tool for that. CLI tool. Dot net force GC. Uh, <laughs> yeah. yeah. But you can do it. This is exactly what you have. You don't yeah. need a new one. But it is, you know, too complex. Dot net force GC, yeah. the ID, and you go. But they, they could just add a profile for that in the net trace if you like. Mm -hmm. I mean, profiles are a great feature and they only put like three of them, so I don't get mm -hmm. it. Uh... Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh... I believe we explained the difference just, uh, somewhere. Just a link to uh, what Chateau yeah. Free, I think. What uh, I wanted to do. I feel like we, we, we're talking it way too late, basically. Oops. Where, where did you go? I, I don't know. It's my, it's my machine. Sorry about that. So okay. if you, so because now... here we, we already have the memory dump and we are talking about how to analyze it. So this this node should be moved earlier uh, to when we explain how to capture the the dump. Uh, because here it's like explaining what we can do. You want to? Yeah. Uh, no, it's, no, no, it's no, no, no. Later. It's... Yeah. So later. So after comparing, com okay. You, so okay, here you know that you have a memory leak. All right. Application with the yeah. it is really difficult to clear the node. There are two main ways to approach the of a memory problem. Uh, and see, already in the first point, yeah. we say uh, the capture of a single memory dump. So at the very least, no, it should be moved the, to the first point. Part. Sorry. Say again. Why? Um, I can't hear you, Christophe. You are frozen. No, it's not my network. <laughs> yeah. Or oh, it was his I'm machine. Sorry. I think it's his computer. No, no, I, I, I have my my clock. I have my clock on the upper right. And you, you see the, the, the a tiny arrow that is moving the, the red one? I it, it was like stuck for 30 seconds. I don't know. I don't know. Mm. Anyway, yeah, I think there's something you're running on your computer. What was your machine? Uh, it's kind of anti adverse advertisement. Yeah, it's <laughs> like this. Every every 15 minutes. So yeah, my, my point is this one is like really com comparing successive memory dumps. Yeah. So and so. So why where do you want to, to, to move that one? Uh well here it's too late, no matter what, because it should at least be in the first point. So the first point we already capture memory dump. So 
we should already say that uh, you could use a GC dump instead. Where, where do we talk about the, uh... the first approach? Simple but requiring a bit more luck involves the analysis of single analysis of a single memory dump. Yeah. So what I would say is removing this from the second point and adding it here. Because yeah, it's, it, it applies okay. to the two points. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. That's true. I get your I get your point. It's not related to the Okay, so if I'm doing this and then this and then removing it. Because each time I'm trying to removing it, everything yes. Yay. Yay. All right. Okay. So resolve. Um, oh yeah, so so you said yes, but I think it's no. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that was fast. I mean this one is like in December, you know, when we were talking about that. And yeah. I was I was not able to have another one. I think it's mm. it's fine. So so do you suggest leaving it as it is? Yes. Yes. Well, there again, I don't expect any reader to reproduce those, so that's why it doesn't really matter what application we take. Yeah, it's it's really what are the tools that we are using. And yeah, I, I, exactly. I agree. It's for it's for framework, but now we have many other examples for .NET Core. Yeah, I agree. If only we will, in the end, we need to keep kind of ratio between the new tools versus new tools scenarios versus old tools scenarios. Yeah. I'm not keeping it, so I don't know how much we updated, how much we uh, didn't. I've I've added I've added a few. So it should be it should be okay. So uh, okay. Well, let's okay. let's leave it and we will see. Okay, we'll see. Mm, yes, probably. Uh, or we can just remove it, no? Because it's like, okay, do that, understand. And then before jumping into, you will also what I did actually please refer to. I uh, don't know. It's about learning people to look in a proper order. So. We yeah. So we need to add it as a note. I don't know how to make it a note. I'm a always copy and change. Trying to copy paste formatting, but it doesn't yes. always work. So this is um, a note, yeah. This is a note. This one is a note. Yeah. Yes. I don't know if what was intended to be a note, but it is a note. Okay. Let's try to make. Let's see. Okay, so if we do something like this, will it change everything? No. Uh, <laughs> it's not so easy. easy. No, but it's not the one that I copied. Is it the one that I copied? Magic. If we do this, okay. So we have like an entire new line. And we go there. It's still not a note. Is it a note? It's not a note. With the comment. So if we do this, does it change anything? No. Uh, so to do uh, press uh, exactly okay at some point we can oh again my machine is terribly slow uh, so uh, uh, is it like there is an e here uh, sorry. 
labializator fill left okay blah 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 uh, um, i'm not sure you are not sure no for the same reason that we removed most of the dot memory and vs stuff in the chapter about tooling uh, uh I think I have one with Visual Studio and .NET GC Dump somewhere. Because I remember some uh, screenshot. Yeah, I think that. so. Uh, yeah. I remember seeing something like that, yeah. Uh, it's yes. fine for me. Uh, we don't see. need to. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, well, even my explorer is slow. So it's completely insane. Uh, where is it? No. But I'm pretty, pretty sure I have I have I have one. This is for some mentioned. I don't remember where it is. Um, I don't remember. But I think I've, I've added something like this. In general, it works for teaching fun, fundamental things, so people will be able to use various tools. So I don't mm. think it is super necessary to show how to do that in that tool and another tool. Yeah. Oh, come on. Almost there. Yeah. How do you select color in this view? Select columns on the right top of per view. Someone has frozen. I'm not sure if it is it's me or, or, or Chris. No, it's Christophe. Christoph. Christoph. Oh. <laughs> Next 30 seconds, freeze. So it's yeah, and it's your connection that is more stable. <laughs> Again, I'm completely stuck. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like thirty seconds. I have thirty seconds. I see my clock not moving for thirty seconds, and then it goes. You again. have installed something, or someone installed on our. Yeah, someone installing something on my machine. Yeah. Okay. So yes, yeah, this one is very nice. This one is very nice. Okay, so mm. uh, type number three corresponds to the older root type, meaning older to younger generation. Older to younger references. Yes, instead of generation. Yeah, and it, it seems to be done in, in, in the drain mark queue, but I was not able to find it. This code is really weird. It's like calling this and then fire the event. And so it's like changing on the fly in the previous, and I just stopped trying to chase work. Sometimes, yeah. Uh, Kevin. OK. Now it's yeah, my Yeah, I think that's a mistake. But I, I didn't test uh, it yet. Yes, I tested it and it works with this one. And it is strange because it is the, gen it yeah. is the generation number, but in the end, if, if you look in the zero, code, there is some logic happening as soon as you modify any of the configuration variable related to GC gem, so maybe that's why it still, still works. Uh. Uh, 
it seems to be used here. If it's not this, then it's false, but... So what was your point, Kevin? It's a, uh, yeah. um, it's, it's, uh, the key to enable it is not GCGen analyze gen, it's GCGen really? analysis trace. It's funny that it's it's not in the. Uh, it should be. Why did you? F Are you sure you not guess? Oh yeah, yeah, it's here. Yeah, sorry. I'm looking here, and then this is uh, the code. I love it. So it's another. Oh, there yeah. is another one. Mm -hmm. I didn't use that. So I knew I knew this one, but I didn't know this one. Wow. I don't know what it is. I didn't use it. <laughs> the duration to trigger. So, so if you if you set this, you don't need to do this? Yes. It's a, there may be an explanation if you go back to the to where it's Oh, used. maybe there is a default value of one. Oh, good catch. Oh my yeah, God. and so go back to, to, to uh, go at where, where it's used. Oh, sorry. No, in the code, in the code. Oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, back. Yeah, and so uh, you can see that it is, can you zoom zoom in a bit? It's, it's, it's small for us. Uh, so basically, and it's true by default, you see, even here. Yeah, and then basically, if uh, yeah, then the session. Yeah, but where is a if match? Where is match set to true? Uh, so match is is true. Yeah, it's true by default, and then. If it's not this, if you don't set, it disables. Wow, it's super weird. Yes, that's a very interesting way of thinking. <laughs> the question is for wow. what is Tracy? Ah, okay, I mean, this is additional fine tuning. What is, because if you enable generational aware analysis, it will do that, but you can also uh, emit dump so, and trace regular ones. And, and trace for this. by default. So, Trace is true. Yeah. Because it is, yeah, because we are interested in trace, but you can disable it and, for example, enable taking dump instead. So, yeah. It's for threatening but what's happening. For the analyze this gen key, uh, I think if you set it to zero, this one it will also work. Basically, basically, it will work if you set it to a value. Yes. yes. If, it's, yes. If, if it's zero, because it, it is a, you will have false here. Okay, so this one is mandatory. Yeah, but it can be set to zero bit. too. Because it's the JAN number in, in the end, not the flag. Yeah, exactly. So we need to rephrase the. Okay, so. My internet. So you want to rephrase it? You need to set the. Yeah, uh, so you need to set it to the generation that you are interested in, basically. To the so minimum generation. So it won't work with the, with the Gen 0? That's what you're saying? It will work with Gen 0. Yeah. But basically, Conrad wrote that you need to set it to 1. But basically, you just need to set it. So you can set it to 0 or 2. I agree. I don't know if you check if it's there or if it's zero. But anyway, 
okay, what's waste too much time? So um, to set with the generation you are interested in, something like this. I guess. Yeah. Yes. Yes. And I will set to the generation you are interested in. Uh, so maybe the minimum generation, because if you set one, for instance, you will still get Gen 2, I assume. Yeah. Nice. Good. All right. Nice. And that's... No. And that's it. Yes. Oh, yeah. And I was Only... thinking about... Um, maybe uh, I need to find where I'm talking about the uh, .NET GC dump because this is where I'm explaining where these are used, I think. And I don't remember where, where I've done that. Or we don't need to do it. Yeah. Could you repeat? I was having yeah, a hiccup. Sorry. sorry. Um, I'm saying that I've I've described uh, what the payload of these events are in in the section where I'm explaining how .NET GC dump is working, but we don't need to repeat it. So, Good. Yeah. And yeah. Oh, Kevin has to finish something. Perfect. Okay. Yeah, personally, it works the way expected, but yeah. maybe it's just me. I don't see why static I was surprised, but you're created by the same. <laughs> uh, yeah? No, I was not. I mean, yeah. In turn, string is really something that we, I mean, I never looked at, and it, it was like kind of a black box. Black box. And um, yeah, static reference data. Mm, yeah. Uh, I. No, I'm, I don't I'm, know. I'm, Wait. Yeah. I'm voting for yeah. the for 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 being I mean, surprised can, a little. Yeah. I mean, you say that may be surprising. So. Yeah. 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 Exactly. <laughs> Most people won't care, but some may be surprised. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So we are we are done except a few. So Conrad, you wanted to do some demos with the Oh yes. I can GC show quickly how we investigate yes. GC well, Info. We I will stop sharing. Very shortly and we will see how the internet will will behave. Okay. Uh, so let me just start presenting. We will see. I need to present the entire screen, and you will see yourself. Okay. Uh, okay. So in general, do you see the screen? It works. Yeah. Right now I'm blind. I see only the screen, so I don't know whether yes. you hear me or whatever. But let's hope it will. <laughs> So uh, I took this code from Igor Bogatov, who is JIT master from .NET team, and he is using this framework for investigating methods, because now you have various multi-tiered. We have multi-tiered JIT, right? So we need to make sure everything is warmed up. Obviously, we can play with disabling tiered compilation at all, but to be one hundred percent sure. Uh, Igor is using this framework when he is calling a lot of times the same method. Moreover, there is a little thread slip here to give the virtual machine time to promote the method to higher JIT tires uh, because there is a little bit of delay. It happens in background. So in general, the goal is here to call this method so many times and give some time to promote it to the tire that we are interested in. <coughs> 
And we have various uh, examples here. Here is the lexical scope example from the book, exactly the one that we wanted to in, to show. So uh, maybe the first thing is uh, I will compile it, and we. GC info is not super as we wrote in a book is not super exposed by any nice tool we need to use some low level tools to see GC info so the very first thing we can do is to use windbg so we have this code uh, we have a program we have a method that we called many times and we can just run it under the windbg right so we are doing all this all the time and so let's say we launch it and we uh, let's hope it will work um, and uh, it attached so fast okay so it is running doing something uh, it stopped and now we can find the method by the magic uh, name to ee uh, command and uh, see the jitted code the program has stopped but it's not closed so we can look at it and we have the jitted code address so if we click it we will see um, you know all the uh, it, it's busy do, downloading symbols again although i did it many times today so <laughs> i don't know why but we will see uh, that will that will take a moment so maybe uh, why it is downloading the symbols again <laughs> okay so we see the code like uh, our beloved lexical scope example in the form that has been jitted in because we called it so many times and uh, we, we can be sure it is the tire that we are interested in uh, so the tire one we can add gc info to this command to this disassembly command so if we add gc info here we will start to see uh, more things uh, like for example save points so now the assembly code the result of the method jitting the method is interleaved with the information where are the save points there are some save points so apparently this is a partially interruptible method and we see those save points in particular of just after the every or we could say of, uh, on every call to something so uh, just because of the call to the allocator one allocator here Mm, do check method here check method here and so on and so on so mm, and those save points here should print the information about what is live at the at this save point because nothing is printed here nothing is live so from the perspective of this method if the gc will happen to at this point when this method was called from the perspective of this particular method there are no live routes uh, because that was that is how this method has been compiled and how the registers were allocated and so on and so on and that's that's the and, and also there is a command for gc info itself so we can look at the gc info of a particular method uh, which is a little bit uh, I would say the same information but only about the save points so it is better to look at the help of uh, this as as we see here and i i used that in the first edition and i believe it's good and i will use it still because it is just this information that we are super interested in in the end what are the live routes at the given save points uh, but we can also use uh, this assembler that is built in into the G, into the runtime itself and that's interesting because if we will see uh, there is uh, this command that is called dotnet jit disasm uh, which is just saying that when the method is being executed and jitted we want to have a jit 
enthusiasm, so a log about how this method has been jitted. So we can set it and then we can run it and we will see exactly the same information in the output simply as without using WinDPG. But what's more even interesting, if we use our custom, uh, if we were, uh, if we are, be, if we have a local build of .NET runtime, like I have here, we can set it. We need to set additional variable core libraries uh, with points to .NET 8 uh, local build debug build. That's important because we need debug build to have some additional diagnostics printed by JIT disasm. And then uh, we can just run it. So uh, here I have a command that is just using this local build of win.net runtime, providing our app that we want to investigate. And after running it, we will see exactly the same. Uh, we will see uh, we will see here information, uh, and this is the result of this just disasm. Uh, so we see for some uh, nice information that are not available so easily in WinDBG, I believe. So we see information that is partially in that there is PGO applied. Uh, we see uh, information about local variables from the JIT perspective. And um, here are sometimes interesting stuff. Mm, so for example, it is super cryptic. Like as we see here, it is not self describing what it all really means. Uh, but for example, this means that this variable is tracked uh, by the GC, I, I would say, somehow. Uh, if it is not tracked, we don't see T something in the name of the, in, in the description of the variable. So we see all the stuff here. It is the same, exactly the same code like we see in, in the WinDBG, but without WinDBG. So it is nice because we could see uh, it from the runtime itself, dumping the jitted code. But we can also add this because we have the uh, win uh, because we have local build. Uh, we can uh, use this additional environment variable uh, that says that when this ASM is uh, logging, let's add GC info to this log. So this is another another uh, environment variable that we can set. And if we come uh, if we rerun it. We will start to see GC info related stuff, and this is much more uh, detailed than the result from dot from the SOS commands, because we see here line by line what are the liveness of registers of or stack uh, variables uh, from the JIT perspective. So we see here simply this GC info uh, decoded. I will just make a check. Do you hear me? Yes. OK, awesome. So network is working. So yes. here, for example, see that after the OK, because we are allocated here class one, after the allocator, GC info has encoded that array X register now contains uh, simply the it's life, like, right? uh, and this encrypted thing means safe point. <laughs> I in, I found it after many times uh, of uh, of the bugging that in the end this means safe point, uh, and this is the number of uh, stack variables that were in, visible at this point. So zero means no stack variables, and after this we see that it is now the error X register contains. The, the the reference after this instruction rse contains the reference we have because we have just moved the reference between registers and line by line we can see for example that after this call these registers do not longer are treated as roots because those references are no longer uh, available and uh, needed so in the end by looking at this line by line you can start to build your own knowledge what was live at the given line. So I believe it is super nice for investigating liveness of registers and stack variables. Uh, so this is uh, this is the GC info from the disaster. 
And uh, what is even more nice, nicer is that this asm has been wrapped into the this asmo uh, um, plugin. You can install this asmo, so it looks like it is uh, this asmo um, extension or something like that. Yes. So you can just add it as an extension to Visual Studio, add-in, it is called add-in, and it is exactly doing exactly the same things, but in a nicer way. So it's wrapping the setting variables, running proper commands to have the result of the deassembling a method by JIT. So for example, if I have our code here, uh, I can click uh, Control-Alt-D, and this is the disasmo result doing the, exactly the same stuff now in background to have the same results. So we see here uh, disasmo uh, result with GC info encoded for a method that I, that I have selected. Uh, so it has a lot of settings here, so you can fine tune what you are in the end looking at. But what I like is that, for example, um, you can, uh, let me just check something. Okay. Why it is not promoting to uh so uh, i'm confused let's just a second mm -hmm. okay just a second i clicked it on a not a proper method okay so, uh, as you see here, what is nice is that you have this control here. So you can disable or enable tired JIT, PGO, and so on. So, for example, with the help of this and because of this disasm that is happening in the in background, we see the first version, the tire zero code that has been JIT at, at the beginning and the method lexical scope in tire zero but later on we see also the version of tire one because mm -hmm. uh, it has been promoted to tire one so we can compare how is the difference if we disable it it means no tired jit so it is just a nice tool for comparing how the multi-tired jit behaves if it's enabled uh, or not what are the different tires Moreover, we can play with PGO, which is the, even nicer. So now we will see the version that uh, uses PGO. So we see this count profile. So a lot of in, some injected calls that gathers the profile, how the method behaves. And it is instrumented tire zero, right? Because we are instrumenting the execution of a method to gather statistics, what's happening, what ifs are executed often or not, what are the conditions to gather how the how the typical workload of the method looks like. So in the end, it is promoted to tire one, uh, but it is used uh, using the PGO to produce the tire one version tuned to the workload that has been um, gathered by by the profiling in tire zero so a lot of nice things to to play with and uh, that's in the end what what uh, and this uh, another thing is that if we use our local dotnet runtime because we can also use local dotnet runtime in uh, this asmo uh, we can also enable You cut. Oh, is it just me? It was Maybe doing. It's just me. Okay. Uh, so this is the JIT dump result. 
and jit dump is super 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 detailed it tracks everything that the jit was doing to to generate the code so it is super super detailed at the end of the jit dump we have this info information also so uh, uh, that be something that if we, we don't want to use windbg at all we can also use the jit dump so so we will get this info in that way so in the end super low level everything right but um, it it just works so it's nice for for such investigations and uh, if we for example look at the test pinning method um, which pins something so it was uh, it is the uh, do you hear me yeah okay uh it's the it's your case kevin so you 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 nerd sniped me <laughs> with the with the code <laughs> that yeah that is spinning and i i i i in in the book we are saying that if we have something like that uh it is uh untracked local viable because of pinning and untracked local viables are having the lifetime of the whole method and then you said okay but it doesn't work because after dc collect this yeah. this uh, array is no longer uh, it's still so it's true uh this the this asthma for example so yeah again I problems good for a few yeah you you were good for a few seconds okay so what was the thing the last thing i said uh <laughs> nothing uh, <laughs> no. now you, you were explaining that uh okay it's expected to stay alive for the duration of the method. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, if we look at the test winning method e with the help of this asm, uh, maybe without the dump because it's too heavy. Let's just look with the tired jit enabled. And we it's, see here this. It's incredible, that they, uh, they took the, it's incredible that they took the time to write this extension. Yes, well, I, I mean, think that's because the it's useful for his work. Igor wrote it, so yeah. Yes, but yes, my point exactly, is usually, exactly. usually they he's don't using it write, all the time. They don't write extension to Visual Studio. That's my what I wanted to say. Ah, oh, that's true. Thank, thank you, Igor, yeah, for for doing this as extension, but not inside Visual Studio. And that's good. That's good. Yeah. yeah. Can you zoom? Does control to the wheel work? I'm not. Uh, there is something i saw presenter mode so maybe it will work okay oh yeah he, oh. he think oh. he thought even about that the remote increased yeah nice nice yeah 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 very nice and we, just we see okay can you confirm that i'm alive again one, two, three. Now, yes, they are your lives. Okay. So, uh, the G this GC info that we need to print with the help of this flag, right? So, we need the local GC run, uh, runtime locally built, and then we can use this flag. So, we will see all those GC related stuff, GC info related stuff. And we see nice things like here we see interior pointer being created because rbx contained the reference to an array but we add some value to get into the array so now it is not yeah. the regular gc reference but it is by reference called by the rbx so we we could nicely analyze what's happening uh, in all these methods and uh yes so this is the this is the the nice thing about but i have some problem with ma matching what this tool shows comparing to gc to comparing to sos commands because mm -hmm. uh 
uh, it's not super easy to find. Okay, I have a check. I, I have a call here. I know it's a safe point, but it's not trivial from this get information. What was in the end live? What was a safe point in the meaning of you know this kind of yeah. what what was re what was really live at this at this line. Uh, and even tr by tracking this information, it is not exactly the same as I would expect. So in the end, I see this information as a nice decode of GC info itself to see how it perceived what's happening. But to get 100% reliable information about GC info, I would probably to save points uh, as seen in, for example, SOS commands. Or JIT dump okay. because the JIT dump also will print that everything. Um, it will print everything, and also uh, yeah. here we said the liveness of things uh, that we have uh, two untracked pinned interior pointers on the stack uh, because it is SP plus something. Mm -hmm and two registers being used and how was the liveness of those registers between various offsets but still the best information about what was in the end live is just to run unfortunately to run the the WinDBG and use the gc info yeah because there we will clearly see what registers were live at the time of Mm. It was test pinning, right? Test pinning. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe I can just reuse it. Again, downloading symbols. I don't know why. Yeah, see the same ones. Maybe your, your symbol cache is not set up. Something from. Seems like that. Seems like that. We need to wait a second. But this Asmo is is super nice, and you can even create defable version of the of the code. So uh, all addresses in the defable version are changed. Okay, I won't be able because. In defable version, all addresses are changed to <laughs> defable. <laughs> so we'll not oh. mess with you know diffing results of of code. <laughs> all addresses are replaced with this funny address. Uh, okay. And here is the nice thing that SOS is saying. So if mm. we have a call, we see that there is a safe point and what registers were. And this is still the best way of seeing this for me, comparing even to this app. Oh. Mm. oh both. Mm -hmm. but... yeah. yeah, we have a flaky internet tonight. OK. And that's it. I think, yeah, uh, maybe sharing the, the screen no, press your video is a bit That's in the end. The oh. Yeah. So maybe stop sharing the screen and it should come back. Yeah. Well, yeah. anyway, I think we, uh, we did a nice yeah, session. We are done. Yeah. Yeah. OK, cool. Yes, that was the tool. Uh, if someone wants to use it, we can disarm everything like a crazy. Yay. Okay. I'm surprised that the GC lab, uh, Sharp Lab doesn't show the, the GC info. Yes, that would be super nice addition. Point. But at the same time, I don't remember even one time when I wanted to use the GC info. Only for a, 
Only for a book. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. That's the that's the reason probably. <laughs> okay, so we are done. We know where we know what should be changed, right? In chapter eight. Yeah. Yeah. Most Nine. of the work is on you, Karada. Yes, yes. But you are moving to nine, right? Or whatever else. Yes, is. yes. Yeah. Yes, yes. Okay. So that was everyone. a nice time. Mm -hmm. Bye, everyone. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching the recording and have a nice evening or morning, wherever you live. Bye, bye, everyone. Bye. bye.